Hello everyone, welcome back to Real Mongolia. I'm at the Suhpater Square with my friend Will Gao, who has recently come back to Mongolia. So Will, uh, what are we doing here? Bear, it's great to be back. I just came back the, from Canada by way of South Korea. Beautiful September day and we're out at the Parliament Park and they've had the National Book event today and they've got 400 exhibitors and famous authors here so I want to see them. It's a beautiful day to walk around and we can interview some of the authors while we're here. You can help me do the translation and explain to me um, how important the education and books are. But I also found the Mongolians especially are really interested in romance novels, books, uh, world events, uh, leadership books especially. We're going to find out today, because once we walk in and see how many people here on a Sunday, we'll, we'll probably get a better idea of uh, how important education is to the Mongolians. Fair mm-hmm. thanks. I'm, the young woman's working on an original script in Mongolian script and she's doing my name on the script as well as kind of the, the symbol for the eternal blue sky of Mongolia and I left it up to her to kind of put anything else she wanted but that, that actually is great because you get to see this type of script that's come back because officially the Cyrillic script is going to be gone on Mongolia and they're bringing back in the Mongolian what we call the kind of vertical linear script so let's see how she does here Smile. Mm-hmm. Zain Mongol Pichki, Koshara, Mashasan, Turtur Pichuastak, Zapir, Ben, Turuching, Himilir, Shitty Moyens in Zaringet, Ursti Horns, Tim Jermashkoi, Pashot, and Gipich Pasam Statek, Zatir Ormish Hutin, Nick Turtinotak, Pirin Pichkin of Yagata in Pichket Pichin. Now it's official. So Will and I found this ancient looking cart, um, ox cart or camel cart, I don't know. Well, uh, what do you think about this? Well, you know, we've seen a lot of those, in, you know, in the ancient Mongolian areas, especially when I was traveling out in the eastern provinces and saw a lot of the, um, you know, history of going back 800 years. And of course, the symbol here that we see on this one here, I mean, for Western society in Europe, it looks like a swastika, which is a an evil symbol to a lot of people, but in, in reality, it's a, a very ancient two, three thousand year old symbol of life and circle of life. And so the fact that, you know, another um, ethnic group took it over and hijacked, it doesn't take away that this is a spiritual symbol of rebirth. And do you know the symbol at the back here? Of This is a Soyum symbol. This is the symbol of our nation. So it has a deep meaning. It's, uh, it reads Mongol Olas or Mongol country, Mongol nation in a traditional script. Yeah. Do you think you could fit here? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I could, yeah? Okay. So, of course, we got Genghis yeah, Khan. Genghis. So, in the ancient times, kings and the royals would travel in this cart, right? Imagine yourself like Mongol royalty and traveling inside well, this. I'd rather prefer to be in a cart because I've ridden the small Mongolian horses and, uh, yeah, it was difficult. So, um, so we have a children's book here. And we have a, a self-development book as well. So we have some books uh, from, for children who want to learn uh, coding mm-hmm. as well. So, so this is a coding book for children? Yeah. Good. Now, yeah. who are most of the, uh-huh. who are most of the um, authors that put this together? Actually, uh, Aura is uh, from Finland, so we have translated this book. So I actually am the translator. Oh, are yeah. you the translator? Yeah. Oh, good. That's great. <laughs> yeah, so... But the fact is that you're doing, you're doing coding for what? These are for grade five or five-year-olds? Uh, um, it's around like uh, four to ten years old uh, for kids uh, who are age on uh, four to ten years old. Now, from the, for the two days you've been here, how's the interest? You know, your people buying and the interest for your yeah, of course, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, interested. In, uh, so recently, uh, I mean, Mongolians uh, are a lot, uh, you know, especially children's book. Uh, people are interested in you know children's education. So um, I've been like on the road around twelve years. 
like all Africa, Middle East, Europe, Central and East, Southeast Asia, uh, North and Central America. You've done, you've done really well. That's, yeah, yeah. That's now, good. My point was, I'm not really a traveler. Uh, it's called the Mongol Badarchin. Badarchin is the person who refuses own uh, life, like a self, selfishness, greed, and go into the road of knowledge. And I made, I made this 12-year road just to understand all about life, what is about life, what is about civilizations. Because, uh, you know, we are a very ancient civilization. Like our counting starts like 2,330 years. And what we're doing now, we're keeping history of mankind. Because after 1,000 years, we, we're going to know what kind of countries, what kind of religion, philosophy existed in this period of time. And that's what we're keeping it. We are the sec I'm the second generation of the history keepers. Could you tell us about your latest book? The, uh, this book called Amazing World. Not amazing, you see, the uh, people think it's a mistake. But my name is Amai, and I wrote Amazing oh, World. Great play on words. Good yeah, yeah. And this is the stories what I've, I've, I learned from the life around the world. And this is the book going to be exported to the world. Is it going to be in English? Yeah, in all languages. Because the, uh, is the main goal of the story is that I'm from the civilization, very ancient civilization, but we were isolated for 300 years. And I'm just coming out from this, uh, this blockade to see the world, what's changed. And I'm keeping from my perspective, not from the West or East, not from the Christian or Muslim, uh, from the Tengri's perspective. And this is going to be a world from totally different uh, view. You've done well. I'm very, very impressive. I mean, extremely impressive. I'm jealous that you did this, right? Yeah. We say in Wheel of Tengri. Right. Very nice media. It's great. Like, <laughs> we don't shake hands. Um, Will, let's, let's check out this map. Me, the okay, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's see where you've been. Here we are in Eastern Mongolia, yeah. and I've been here, uh -huh. and I've been as far as here, and probably out to here, which is close to Russia and Inner Mongolia, China over here. So, yeah, I've been here for many trips, the far eastern area, but that's where, now where have you been? Where did you grow up? I grew up in the western, western Mongolia. We we're talking over here? Yeah, this is uh, Tsakhon, Tsakhon province. This is where I was born, my home province. So we have this uh, very sacred mountain called Atondingri in our, our province. This is the where the eagle hunters. The eagle hunters are, and my, my favorite one I want to do is the Bigfoot in the mountains, in the oh, western, so, western Altai Mountains. So we're going to go there and hunt uh, Yeti. Yeah, I'll go ahead and Yeti, and I'll be we can go to Karakoram. <laughs> yeah, Karakoram is there. So we are in front of the, the National Library of Mongolia's gear. They invited us. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the is that the library that's located uh, yes, yes. close by here, down mm -hmm. on National Chingis? Library. Yes, library. Mongolia National Library. Oh. Ashport. 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 in network here now. Монголчууд <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, that's okay. And this is where the cash is on. Do you have a family members? Guyukan is Tama. The the seal of Guyukan. Man, how you're doing? Do you know what Guyukan is? Probably part of the reason that it's there with the Tama. Ah, Guyukan, but do good the honey who? For you, Chingsani, I chew. Chingsani is Hurgik. I was able to get a lot of people 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 to
Um, I see that someone is reciting poem or maybe reading of book. Does that happen in Canada? Not on a, not on an open stage like this that I've been to. Again, most of the most of the events I've been to have been more outdoor festivals and music. This, this is different to have an outdoor festival that's relating to books and authors talking about their uh, stories on stage like this. Mm. Interesting. So. I was raised up in a countryside, and I come in the UB uh, two years ago, and I didn't know about this celebration of the book, and I participated only this year, and I bought maybe uh, two or three books. One of them is uh, Rich Dad and Poo Dad. All of the people I hope know about is a financial book, and one about this like a book named Flipped because I like the movie. And the other one is in here, this book. Yeah, I was kind of interested in this one. And I worked here and I kind of inter interested the author and his history. And I hope that, that all young people know about this author more. I hope so. so. How did you learn English? Uh, I learned English in my school, but mostly through the internet. So, and I bet it. I, and I'm not a very well. Which province? Uh, that's the province. Yeah. Thank you. Abi Aranga Tursi. Hortum Murma Doi. Which province? Aranga province. The Matching of Hort Muru, yes. Is that Western province? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've only been the Eastern and South, though. <laughs> За энэ зүүн хэд баг шичиг наад бодос нэг төрөө нэг айрэг тав нэг амуу хүзүүд тав айрэг гэхээр шүү 7 айрэг төрөө авсан байх гэсэн чинь тий. За баярлаа. Окей. Та цаг гэхгүй юм. Hi. Uh, my name is Prutla. So I'm uh, my friend Geril Chemik. And we we wrote this uh, book. It's called uh, Lection Through yoga mind so why we call this name is uh, we are actually yoga instructors we see the yoga is uh, is the, the pure mind the the awareness of the life and how we see through it the like kind of observers so we are just putting it in the observing experience and put it there yeah. Um, I like the decoration of your table. Thank you. It's really <laughs> looks natural yeah. and it stands out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, okay, good luck. Thank you. I love the outfit. Yeah. I love the outfit. 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 Хийх нь дандаа хатлын явдал тийм нууцлаг тийм. Хийх нь биш 30 ном 30 лал хатлын явдал тийм. How many books have you written? 30. Very all adventure books. Well, very good. Аа нэг хүн ингээд манай найзууд буу нөр ингээд намын өдөрлөг болж ингээд тэнгуут нь тэгээд ирээд амбас хувь хүний өвчлийн номнууд маш их дуртай болохоор яг намын баяраар илүү их шин номнууд илүү их гарч ирж тэгээд а байдаг болохоор бас тэгж бодоод ирсэн. Тэгээд одоо болохоор би хувь хүний хүчлийн номнууд маш их уншиж одоо ирээдүйн Монголдоо хөрөнгө оруулахын тулд маш их хувь хүний хүчлийн номыг их уншиж байгаа. Thank you very much. Where what is this I don't know. Where there is a little paintings of from little kids. There are uh, similar events like this in Canada? There are a lot of events that, that I've seen, but not to this size. I've never seen the events of this scale. I know that you were interested in one of the videos that was on, on Will Solo Travels with a, a barbecue event in Calgary. You like that one. So those are the type of events that people enjoy going to also, outdoor events, festivals. But this is different, having a huge book fair outdoor on the Subata Square, like the main heart of uh, Mongolia. Okay, let's go. 